Hey, man. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, oh. can you hear me? Probably not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess your mic was muted. Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> oh, no worries, man. How are you? Good, how are you? Nice. Uh, yeah, I'm very well as well. Good. You took the half day off to play StarCraft? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude, that's the dedication right there. All right. So we're in one ring. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of coaching. We've done some in the past before, although the last notes that I could find was in June. It's been a little while. It has been a while. I think this is our third session, actually. <laughs> yeah, I did third or fourth. I'm not entirely sure. I thought it was more than uh, more than that, but I guess I, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've known your name for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you pop in the chat every day. Alrighty, so we made our way to plat two. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, Good. I actually hit that Sunday. Oh, nice. I think. Yeah, the the, the leaks are currently locked, right? You may uh, you may know that, like the uh, yeah. season lock. That's yeah. pretty sweet. So wait, yeah, you ended last season as gold one. Yeah. And now you actually managed to get up to plat two in a single season. That's actually very solid. Very solid. Yeah. Oh, actually, rank four as well. That's not bad at all. All right, so we got an MMR of three thousand four hundred and or five hundred and forty-two. There we go. Nice. Yeah, that went down so, a little bit climbing. from last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, my my MMR goes up and down as well. I'm pretty sure that's what most people uh, <laughs> <laughs> most people have. Oh, you've been playing a lot of games actually. Yeah. I guess you get to play when when you're out of work, right? Yeah, I do. I usually have four or five hours at night to play. Nice. Yeah, so everyone wondering, basically, Kisses used to be on the chat, like, 24-7 while at work, but you changed job ever since, and uh, now you have to take the day off even to play games and not be in the chat. Oh, my God. It's, it's... So, we're currently Platinum League uh, 2, and 71 wins, and 60 suit loss. That's very solid. Don't know if you uh, have set any new goals for the for the next season or whatever, anything what you want to get to uh, next uh, next time. Um, I definitely want to get my Terran above 50%. Cool. And, and I realistically, I could get either high plat one or... I think plat one is a good goal right now. Sure. Yeah, start like touching that diamond league. Yeah, exactly. That's definitely doable though. Like the most important thing is just simply playing. So considering yeah. you get to play, uh, you know, a couple hours every day, that makes... That makes a huge difference for sure. Yeah, and I've played a lot of team games this season, so. Let's see. Uh, current season. Legacy of Void. Oh, there you go. You've been playing with Rush Chiru. Nice. <laughs> yep. Oh, you actually uh, diamond nine with him. That's sick. Yeah, see. So... You've been diamond in pretty much all of them. Nice. Yeah, I don't play nearly as much team games, I guess, to, uh, to help you out in that regard. But, uh... <laughs> 1v1, we should be good to go. So I've been I've been playing a, quite a different style in ZVT as of late. Mm -hmm. um, I've been playing a lot of Mutaling Bane over Roach Ravager lately. I probably would still recommend going Roach Ravager though in most scenarios. Uh, just because okay. like, I've been really struggling in ZVT as well. Uh, ever since switching over. And the, the main reason why I've been playing the, the, like, the Mutaling Bane is to, uh, to make sure that I, you know, I'm not going to be absolutely terrible if ever they're going to be switching to Mutaling Bane. Uh, like as the default setting in the matchup, but I think for now Roach Ravager should be, you know, if you if you want to get to plot one or, or diamond one or or you know into, up to up to probably Grandmaster League, you can play Roach Ravager just fine. It's just something I've been wanting to practice a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I think I think we 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 definitely can go ahead and do that because um, I'm assuming that's where you want to put the main focus today, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, considering your ZVT and ZVP are really good. Yeah. All right, all right, we can definitely do that. Um, cool. So, what what is it currently doing ZVZ? Because that that win rate is really high. Do you have like um, uh, one go to strat or my in my ZVZ? Mm -hmm. Um, no, not really. I I do a lot of thirteen twelves to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. So, I mean, it I mean, works. It's still solo. Yeah, it works, and and I mean, you, you oftentimes still transition to macro games. You'll you'll start noticing that once you yep. start phasing a bunch of platforms and or or diamonds, uh, they'll be able to hold it. But that's cool. Yeah. And what about like ZVP? Do you have like the style that you practice there the most? 
Man, I play so much ZVT or uh, ZVP that I don't even know what I play to be honest. I just, <laughs> I just kind of make units depending on on what I see from them because I play so much of it. <laughs> All right. Uh, right, the buddy that enough. I play with a lot is Protoss, and so we do a lot of 1v1s. He's like Diamond 2, I believe. Mm -hmm. And so I just get a lot of uh, I get a lot of practice in against Protoss. All right, all right, fair enough. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, maybe it's like Roach, for, or Roach Ravager or whatever that you play in ZVT and ZVP, or ZVT, or no, ZVP and ZVZ as well, so we could practice the same in ZVT, but uh, that's fair enough. Uh, variety of styles can't hurt. Yeah. It's actually interesting, like... The fact that your ZVT is your worst matchup and you get that near twice as much on a ladder than the other ones. Like, yeah. <laughs> typical. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I've played a lot of Terran this season. All right. Anyway, if there is currently any, um, like, high platinum slash, like, diamond, like, low diamond level Terran players in the stream, if you guys could join Group Loco TV on the European server. So that's Group Loco North TV. North American. Oh, North American server. Yeah, my bad. Um, there's actually already a bunch of players over here. We're looking for Terran players, though. So I, I know the stream title said Zerk Coaching, but if there is a, a higher level Terran player out there, that would be that would be great. So any any kind of specific style you play right now for Terran or anything that you're really struggling against the most? Uh, try not to die. <laughs> Far enough. Far enough. Uh, okay. So try not to die. Currently. Yeah. And uh, do you have like an end game goal like, um, when you do win? I like I was condition? watching your um your video that you did on Nurchio ZVT and that helped me out. Uh -huh. Um I went from like 30% to 48% on Sunday and then nice. I lost a, a few games yesterday. My macro was pretty bad yesterday, so All right. Yeah, that that's I I would highly recommend doing that uh, that strategy. I think it's really nice to uh, to practice. And, uh, I mean, Nurture is pretty freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Cool. All right. Yeah, so I know the, the strategy that you're going to play then. That's very helpful. So we can see if there's any any leaks or whatever in the, in the strategy that uh, may need fixing. Because considering you have really high win rates in ZVZ and ZVP, you should probably be okay to, uh, you know, at the very least, play the strategy, right? ZVT is not necessarily that much different from Zerg vs. Protoss other than right. the units they make. Playstyle is still relatively, uh, yeah, relatively the same. Right. Now, I'm always a little scared to not make like these zerklings right here. I'm always mm -hmm. terrified. Oh, there you go. You did make a couple of them. I was gonna say like, uh, I'm always terrified of the first Reaper coming in pairs or whatever. Right. Like, sometimes like two of them pop up and it's like game over. Anyhow, really small thing there. No biggie. Do you go for the Overlord speed by any chance? I would. I would actually start recommend doing that. Um. Uh, I have been. I don't know if I got it in this game or when I got it in this game, but I have been trying to keep a conscious effort in getting the Overlord speed early. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been. I've been getting it. Um, I've noticed that pretty much all the Korean dudes are doing that. I don't know exactly if Nurchio has been doing it as well, but most of the Zerk players right now are seemingly getting uh, an Overlord speed right after getting the Zerkling speed. So like their second 100 gas is gonna go to Overlord speed every time. Okay. Um, and that seems to that seems to be very helpful. Um, just uh, just in case, like I don't know how comfortable you are with scouting though, so that kind of that kind of depends here as well. But in general, it's it's definitely worth checking out. Okay. Okay. So I think I think that that second gas in the natural is honestly about a minute or two early. Okay. So you're not gonna be able to really use it for the time being, but yeah. that's okay. Oh, there you go. You don't saturate it either. You're like, well, fuck, I made it. <laughs> so, considering, like, your goal is to not die, right, mm -hmm. in, in the game, uh, here's what we're going to try and do, okay? We're going to try and make six queens every match. We'll just try and do that. Okay. Uh, um, and um, the idea behind that is just because queens are, are, like, the best early game defense unit Zerg has. And considering like the Nurture style really aims to get too much ultra Lisk in the late game, usually that's that's like the best way to stay alive. So we're gonna try and make six queens every match, and that is a little it's a little more than than probably uh, absolutely needed. But there's really no particular reason not to get it. I mean, they're they're pretty cheap. So I'm, I'm making a bunch of notes as well, by the way, in case you're wondering. But um, 
um, yeah, I think I think that's the correct way to go, and that way we can also focus on on droning a little greedier. Because right now, as you look at harvesters, like he's got a lot more. Yeah. Um, okay. So we'll focus on on queens and drones, okay, in the okay. early stages of the game, and then once you hit like full saturation in the main and natural, that's when that's when we're gonna start the the tech up. So um, drones, um, like so, I, so I mean like sixteen drones on minerals and sixteen drones on minerals in the natural as well, mm -hmm. uh, and then we start up. Um, you know, more gas uh, plus tech as well. So tech would be like Evo Chambers and Roach Warrens and all that. Okay. Game resumed. Should be, uh, should make it, uh, you know, pretty much doable. There we go. Now we get a big run of drones. That's good. Yeah, the overall playstyle definitely, uh, definitely looks the way you want it to be. There we go. Even switching out the armor for the melee. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. So the round of... Uh, oh, there we go. The round of uh, roaches. And then the roach beat as well, I hope. So very solid saturation actually right here when you start making army. I like that a lot. I really like to see the roach beat here though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's overlord speed. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, my bad. Good positioning as well. Yeah, so definitely, definitely bring the queens over as well. So, um, the second chains will do as well is six queens every match mm -hmm. plus hot key the queens. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that would make the control here already way easier. Yeah, that's something so. that I've definitely I know I struggle with, so I've been working on mm -hmm. trying to hot key those queens. Yeah, I think that would make it way easier. That would probably also make it easier to like do things like creep spread and all that. Mm -hmm. Nice little bit of scouting there with the uh, overlords. Okay, here's the one control group syndrome right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, our army. Uh, yeah, that that's definitely obviously uh, something we can easily work on as well. I think you probably want to start holding the army just more. Yeah. Like at the very least, like if you defend like that, like always only defend with a couple of units. Like go to your army and box a couple of units and then send those to the main and just leave the rest over there. Because you only need like four roaches to deal with that. That was right. that been plenty. Okay. There we go, we do get plus two plus two. Yeah, so right now you're basically forced to go either all in or, you know, at the very least do a push when plus two plus two finishes up. Because uh, you lost a lot of workers there. Yeah. That's uh, that's a relatively easy fix, though. And I think I just pushed a little bit too early. Game pause. Yeah, bio is, pr is pretty good. I think if you would have waited until plus two plus two, you probably would have been in a really good spot. Just make no like basic. Okay, so so this is like a scenario we'll probably find yourself every now and then in. So mm -hmm. basically, at this point, right when you know that engagement goes down right here, and you lose all those drones at the third. Here's here's like where you have two options, right? And just try and keep that in mind whenever you're in this kind of game, because when you know you've you are probably behind against him, um, you have two options. Either you like start trying to macro again from behind. Uh, sometimes works out if your opponent isn't macroing particularly well and you're really, you know, confident in your own. Um, or you can try and go for an all-in yourself. And if you're going for an all-in, like, push right when upgrades finish up. So that makes that makes it so much easier, usually, to try and get the engagement. So, what you probably would do in that, in, like, in that scenario, is start up plus two, plus two, and then, like, make non-stop army. Just, like, put it in one of your bases and just make non-stop army, trying to deal with it. Okay. Um, and, um... That should, that should make it a little easier. Game so, closed. we're gonna add more queens in every match, uh, in every matchup, or in, in, in Zerk vs. Terran, um, and, and we're gonna hold kiddos. Uh, and then I would also recommend leaving part of your army in every base, okay? So, okay. Uh, the roaches, the roaches that you have right over here, uh, they're all clumped up at the Game third, closed. which is, sometimes it's, it's okay, but it's much easier if you have a couple, um, Couple, uh, couple in every base. So even if it's just a couple in the main right now, that would already stop that drop just fine. So basically, what I'm saying is like either hotkey the hotkey the army itself, mm -hmm. or don't use the all army hotkey group and just simply box the stuff around and try and do a moves with that and keep track of where army is located. Be very okay. careful, like a moving with everything. Right. Um, so leave a few roaches in every base. And I think that would already make it easier. So um, yeah, let's let's have a quick look at other other replay as well if you have one. 
so we can uh, we can see if that is uh, is op uh, is a possible uh, option. You have a tie in your win loss ratio. Oh, well spotted. Yeah, it was against the Terran. It was uh, actually the final round of a diamond tournament. So nice. <laughs> what happened? I haven't had a tie in forever. Um, he floated bases, and I had no money to make a spire. <laughs> And ah, he, right. he had no army, but he wouldn't land his bases, and so he just stalled the game out. Gross. Yeah. There you go. We get a GHF and a heart. But that's a Diamond League tournament, though. That's solid. Game Dude, you got a freaking... You got a freaking... What is that? There's a... A, a, a trophy, man. Yeah, that's from that Diamond League tournament. <laughs> <laughs> the same one. So I do, what happens? Do you have to like replay the game? No, it they we both won a trophy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a tie. So you're all winners now. <laughs> nice. I love this that you that you're killing the rocks in the back. I think that's great. There we go. Yeah, so once again, I think we could probably drone up a little greedier before really starting all the tech up. So like right now, I think the gases are a little too soon. Okay. Um, and um, like the the drones a little too few. So basically, it's like more drones first and then start techs. Did uh, I make a few too many lings at the same time as well? Um, considering you're like like not having the roach worn very early, I think it's it's all right. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think that's all too many. But um, I would rather replace those links with a couple of extra queens just because. They're much better at like the all round early game defense, you know? Okay. I think queens are a little easier to count to, so you just like make up to six and right. you know, it's fine. I like the crew spread here a lot too. It makes so much like it makes so much easier on this map. Okay. Game paused. Game resumed. Okay, so the whole idea of like behind like the, the massive round of roaches here is that you start drawing really greatly mm -hmm. after it as well. So we're like we need to get a ton of drones here. Got it, okay. Because notice, like, um, well, it, actually, economically speaking, you're really doing really, uh, you're doing really solid here. Why is he having so few workers? What the heck? Did you, did you kill any? No. No, you didn't. He just didn't make it. He just has a lot of bunkers. <laughs> wow, yeah. This is a, a terrified Terran. He may have looked at your base or something and completely <laughs> misread it. He hasn't seen anything either. Maybe he saw your group of links or something that you made early on. I'm not sure. Oh, he's going for the hyperflight rotors or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, sheets? this game was kind of annoying. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so once again, right? Game Leaving all the army like in one massive clump is a little risky. If you can try right. and like, it's very difficult to remember because it's very easy to like sort of leave everything in one big clump. But if you can, um, if you can try and leave your units in separate groups, that would make it much easier. Okay. All right. Let's see, here's the, here's the... Okay, good scout. And I actually love the fact that you're going on the offensive. I think that's really good. That's actually a really good decision right there. I would say, like, most Zerg players just go home right there. Well, I knew it was Banshees, choice. and there was nothing that I could really do against it anyways, so... Well, yeah, you can go kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Yeah, so in this case, you probably want to go either, you know, pr you probably want to go Corruptor. Once they go this heavy, it's uh, it's probably best to go Corruptor. Cool, that base is so dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think the Queens right here would have definitely helped out a little sooner as well. Okay. But this, these are the type of games that are very uncommon. It's like it's sort of like more of knowledge of what to do rather than you know real skill, I suppose. If you would have thrown down a spire right away, you could have had to wrap this out right now. So if you see like more than a stupid amount of uh, of these units, just go ahead and get a corruptor. Either way, okay. I think you still win, right? I do win this one, yeah. Yeah. These are the weird games. The, that early game play was way better, though. That early game play was really solid. Yeah, this was one of the earlier games of the night, actually. So. Mm -hmm. I think it just kept getting worse the longer the games went on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just you have limited amount of focus. Mm -hmm. 
the downside of having work, man. You gotta quit work and like, play StarCraft. <laughs> StarCraft full time. <laughs> Dude, maybe this is the tie. This is the type of game where you could totally get a tie. Yeah, I love this though. The fact that you're running around with links in several groups, that is so, like, it's so much stronger than, uh... What was that? It was repairing? Yeah, it's so much stronger. Anyway, that was well played. Okay, so once again, uh, we'll go six queens. We're gonna hold key to them, things. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna try and not have all of our units in a single base, okay? We're gonna try and split up the things. Okay. So that's really the only improvements we're trying to make here. So I did a hold key the army and like not hold key part of it. Or um, you just simply don't use the old army hold key here for a little bit. Two options, I guess. There you go. You got the macro for the quick DLHF heart. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a genuine GLHF though? If you if you <laughs> if you macro it, not that mine are always genuine. I mean, it's part of my build at this point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just part of my build. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that what isn't that what it always is nowadays? Anyways. <laughs> Make drones, send overlord, set hotkey, GLHF, go. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, that was a little bit early. Oh, well. Ah, fine. So just, just, like, queue the queens up back to back to back. We may have to, like, delay our third base a little for that. Okay. Uh, but just, we'll just go up straight to six queens as early as we can. So it's yep. gonna be a little strange, but... We'll be okay. Do I remember in one of your videos, maybe it was that Nurtio video, that they're cutting their third queen back a little bit to get the um, Overlord speed first? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, I, I've been, I've been, that's the style I've been practicing a lot as of late. But it's kind of up to you if you want to try that out as well. You most definitely can if you want to. Um, but it's gonna make it more complicated because you like need to do be scouting or you need to be scouting as well, right? Um, and rather like this the, the reason it. why we okay. want to go six queen is just because we really want to uh, Basically be safe against everything. That's kind of the idea Okay And hopefully that's gonna also result in you know a little more creep spread and all that So let's just let's just go straight into six queens in this one and then we can try out some scouting later as well if you want to okay You can make one drone here until 20 and then you can make uh and for, for the early game Reaper as well, we'll make three sets of Zerklings, okay? So we'll go, we'll go six Zerklings here. Just queue up the Queens first and then the over, yeah, or the, uh, the, the Link Speed. And then, like, start, uh, start queuing up uh, a couple sets of Links. Okay, and then we go full into Droning. So, from now on, really what we're trying to do is Drones and Queens, okay? Okay. And run, run. Too slippery. <laughs> Let's go ahead and queue up the more uh, the additional queens. All right. So make sure to try and hold key them immediately. Okay. Just try and get it to the habit. As soon as they spawn, just put them in. The, yeah, the queens exactly. Yeah. There you go. Oh man. Oh man, fuck. Oh my. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Wanna get an overlord next? Let's get two of them. And if you're really flooding, you can also go ahead and take the third base now. May have to in this particular match. Yep. And afterwards we'll get the six queens or the six uh the six queens here as well. So just hit shift plus two for that one. Yep, there you go. Ah, uh, shift plus two is probably easier. Cool. Okay. And a big run of workers. Big, big run of workers. Host connection detected. Routing hollow feed now. Mr. Kendrick, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. We're doing uh, some Zerk coaching right now. I'm helping our keys here. But thank you very much. Let's continue onwards. 
There we go. And make sure we have all of the queens on the same hotkey. All right. So oh, once are, we, I think. yeah, once we once we get all of the um, bases saturated, just keep an eye out on the natural. See if you have that one fully saturated too. Uh, that's when we can start getting uh, the lair and everything else. Are we good? There we go. Looks like we've got enough workers in the natural right now as well. So this is where you can start getting the lair, um, the queens, or sorry, the lair, the evil chamber, and the roach one. Uh, this is also when you get your next gas, right? Yep. This is also when, you, yeah. Basically, when you have full saturation in any given base, that's when you start getting the the next uh, the next gases. There we go. So if you do that, you need to make like one massive round of drones right now, because otherwise you're gonna really start losing that eco on drones. So since you just made like Got three it. gases, you're gonna have to add like at least ten workers. There you go. All right. So now when the roach worm finishes, that's when you make the big round of roaches. Okay. Okay. So we're very dependent here on our uh, zerklings early on. Or, uh, on our ro or our queen's rather early on here for defense. Uh, and this guy is not playing all too aggressive, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay. So, Roach Warren is done. Did we get the lair, by the way, as well? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, let's get one, that one started. Yeah. Uh, plus one, plus one. Very good. Uh, let's go. You probably want to go armor you in do. this case. Yeah, if, you, if you you're going to go. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Melee armor, exactly. All right. So, here's the queens. Use hold key two. There we go. And just attack move with him. Okay, so notice there's also some fighting going on at the third. If you can target down the medevac with the queens, that helps out by far the most. Got it. Alright. So, alright. So, basically, here's this is like a pretty standard type of play, right? From Terran. Mm-hmm. Uh, where they, like, build up a bunch of stuff, and then they, like, go ahead and, 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 and you know deal damage to the to the Zerg player. Now in this particular match, he managed to kill 22 workers, just like that, right? With the with the with the kills at the third base as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly because we didn't see those. Uh, anyhow, whenever you like defend against this sort of stuff, you need to like drone up until you got full base saturation. So I mean three base saturation right now. After like the initial pressure wears off, just go full on into droning, okay? Okay. Um so we go up to like, I don't know, 60 right now. So that means you need to add on about 40 of them. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and that's a pretty important number, I guess. But um, just go ahead and, uh, and 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 get those started, and just try and get back into the macro, okay? Okay. So that means queen injects, and if we need to add on a macro hatch, any any kind of those kind of things. Got it. Okay. Good big lot of round of larva. There we go. Very good. Okay. Lair is done. There's gonna be some in the main. But if you can run the drones out of that and just send the queens. There we go. Very good. Good positioning right there on the queens. Alright, now get them back to inject. Okay. Couple overlords. Let's get the Roach Pete started as well. So when we start making units, or we start making units when you hit full three base saturation, okay? So we need a couple more in uh, in all of them, I think. So that includes the gases at the third too. Very good. Okay, let's get plus two plus two started, and the gas is in the third, and then I think we're good to go. You can make a massive round of roaches right now, because I think we're may gonna use it, or we, we may need it. And just try and keep your queens and your roaches together, okay? Okay. If you need to, just go ahead and add an extra queens as well. Ooh, you can attack, yeah, you gotta attack move with him. Uh, that's a damn shame. Yeah, I think he did a little too yeah. much damage initially. Alright, fair enough. Good first game of the day. Cool. 
cool. We'll jump into the next one. All good. All right. So how did that like the six queen? Is that weird or or, or what? Um, I'm not used to the queen control, so mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to get used to it. So yes, it's a little bit weird, but the making them wasn't weird, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. The using yeah, the queens yeah. was the weird part. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's all good. Okay, well, let's grind them out, and grind the ladder. Yep, exactly. Oh, I said keep defaulting me to Terran. Gets the battle map, man. It's 2016. <laughs> the, techno the technology isn't there. <laughs> oh, you gotta go after this one. All good. I've also been trying to make the effort to um, make my overlord at 13 instead of 14. Yeah. I know That's it's not. Uh, you can. Like... I know I, it's not I, a huge I fail deal, a little but... time. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Poof. 13. It's technically a little better. Yeah. It makes probably about a, a half minute roll of difference. I'm sure someone did the math. It really doesn't matter all too, too much. But all good. It'll, it'll usually get easier after a couple of games. Right. At least you get the rest of the day off to play Starcraft, right? That's totally what you're going to do, right? All That's day? That's absolutely what I'm going to do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no time for other plans. Just Starcraft. <laughs> yeah, me and my buddy usually hang out on Tuesdays, and we uh, we play Starcraft all day. Nice. Nice. So. Nice. Dude, I, I still wish I had friends in real life to play Starcraft like that, man. Just come over yeah. and play Starcraft all day. You brought the computer, right? Didn't you go over there last time and you were sitting on his couch or whatever? We were doing coaching from, uh, <laughs> from the couch? Yeah, I was doing coaching from his couch last time. I, yeah, yeah, last yeah. Last time. <laughs> it's been a while, man. All right, let's get the uh, this pool. Yep. Keys is living the life, guys. Taking half days off to play StarCraft. <laughs> He's actually got friends who play StarCraft in real life as well. Dang, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm actually getting paid to play StarCraft right now. PTO, yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, I guess you have your uh, you have your days off. You get you get those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty sweet, man. I need to get days off. <laughs> My boss is really your... strict, I. Oh, <laughs> My boss doesn't Stop. give me days off. <laughs> I'm taking a Monday off, dudes. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Loco, if you have the pen, I'll bring the pineapple. Thanks, dude. <laughs> pen, pineapple, apple, pen. All right, let's get the links there. Oh, you already got them. Dude, you're way faster than me. And 31 <laughs> is when you get the next overlord. Just drone, drone, drone. Just try and keep the drones up. Try and keep those going. Oops. Oh, good. No biggie. And just uh, make the next overload at 31. It's R30. Cool. Next set of queens. Yeah, just send them back home. Just send them back home. It's all good. Just don't go off creep. A good Terran is never going to give you this. We'll just pretend all the Terrans are really good. Okay. <laughs> That's probably... Probably the best way to look at it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, if you think of it, like a good Terran player is never gonna let his Reaper die to slow lanes right. off creep. Alright. Gotta get an Overlord. There we go. Very good. And. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I actually have this map vetoed on my ladder just because I was. Really? Tired of playing it <laughs> oh okay i was gonna say maybe you don't have any experience on the map then but that's fine i really like this map i didn't like it initially with the third base layout but yeah right. so let's get the next set of queens here too queens or base oh you can either but we want to go up to six queens either way there you go so just whenever you queue up the next set of queens inject once and then pull everyone to the front of them so or to the front so there you go. 
Got it. Let's pull every, every, every one of them to the front. And a big round of drones once again. Okay, so this should be the time where you also start adding on the tech. So notice, right, you got the uh, you got the gas right now that you can start taking the natural. And um, just go ahead and get the roach worn and the evo chambers and all that. Yep. Okay. So the ones that, the queens that you have at the front right now are the only ones that um, that are going to be for defensive right now. The other ones that you're making, those can those can start injecting. Okay. okay. So when the roach worn finishes up, that's the time where you should start making uh, a round of roaches. And you can also start up the lair, of course. There we go. It's really important, though, that we do get that massive round of roaches here next up. Because otherwise, we're just going to be in a really scary place. We do need to start getting some units soon. Okay, so there we go. Very good. Get my lair. You can get more if you want it. Very solid macro, by the way. Really nice. And just rally all your bases towards the third base right now. Okay. I mean, like, the the, the, the larva from uh, each base to the minerals of the third. To the minerals? So otherwise, the... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because so, you. like, you already have full saturation in the main and the natural. So there we go. Yeah, cool. Well, there he is. Alright, so use the queens, and if you can, try and target fire down the medevac with the queens, and then use the roaches for the rest. Okay? That's like, the, yeah, that's it. Now, in the same time, he's also gonna be in your natural, so pull the drones from there. That's probably a liberator. Maybe you wanna ma start making blind spores, to be honest. It's something yeah. I've been trying out as well. Considering you're having issues against it, it's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and make a, a round, of, uh, round of drones here. We need, like, full 3 base saturation. Once again, go ahead and try and target fire down the, uh, the medevac with the queens. I think they're coming, right? Oh, no, they're at the third. That's fine. You can actually try and catch the, uh... You can actually try and catch it. Let's get back into the macro uh, swing. So, we lost five less roaches or drones than last time. But we're, I think we're in a better macro place right now. So, let's start up the plus two plus two. As well as roach speed. <laughs> that one that one marine. <laughs> <laughs> no HP. Still wants to fight. There you go. Alright. So, make sure you get that three base saturation. Just double check that. And once you do, that's when you start making the extra roaches, okay? So, there you go. Now, you can take those gases there. And just start making non-stop army. Okay. So we can start a couple overlords and non-stop roaches. And try and leave a couple of units in each base, right? We'll pull them to the front if we need to, once the army arrives. But I would definitely, like, re definitely prioritize getting stuff now, though. Because uh, we've got a lot of bank. There you go. Couple overlords and then Queen injects once again. All right, so he's coming in on the mini map. Gonna need a couple of overlords here, but I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay if you got the queens and the, uh, the roaches. Okay. Try and keep the production going. It's hard to explain, because um, right. I, th I think you had enough stuff there. It's just that uh, once the army comes in, um, like the macro sort of starts slipping, if that makes sense. Right, yep. Um, yeah, basically, basically um, at this point, like he was he was allowed to sort of like fly his medevac straight towards the, the top of your ramp, right? And that's kind uh -huh. of the issue, like the queens were hanging out before. It wasn't right. really just that though, it was just like a combination of things there. 
I, I think I think you may want to like consider just simply on hotkeying the F2 hotkey for a while. Okay. It's gonna hurt, but I mean, I always advise people to do it. Not a lot of people want to do it, but I think if you if you're willing to put into practice and you know you're gonna play against a buddy or whatever, like whenever you play those customs against your protos buddy or whatever, mm -hmm. or, or like you know the friend that comes over, just on hotkey the F2 hotkey for a while, okay? okay? Or play unranked ladder or whatever. Like don't don't play don't play ranked ladder without it, but like. Try try and get used to Hot King Yarmy because it's so beneficial. Right. Anyhow, we'll go to the engagement right about right here. Game uh, actually, it's a little further along. Unselect F6. Thanks. Oh, you got it to F6. Oh, yeah, you got the weird hotkey key setup. Well, I switched it because I have my camera hotkeys that I also don't use on F1 through F4. <laughs> 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 fair, fair, fair enough. Good thinking. <laughs> I like the thought process, though. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm like there for when I start using them. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like if you get used to if you get used to like the camera hotkeys as well as the army control hotkeys, those are huge. Like that adds so much, like just straight up control to your like positioning and everything, you know. But yeah, he's got a friend coming out for Starcraft, man. It's Real life friends, you know, like actual human interactions. It's pretty scary. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll we'll go to we'll go to. This is actually where you're supposed to start making your army, and you make that massive round of roaches. Actually, we'll wait. Well, we'll wait until you like queue up that massive round of roaches right yeah, here. And actually, right. you can see it's pretty. Here small. is where I got supply blocked because I made all those roaches. I didn't make overlords. And okay, we'll go. We'll go to right before you that. start making them. Game cool. Yeah. So you gotta keep in mind that at this point we already lost 17 workers, right? That's quite right. a lot. Um, we could probably prevent that a little bit better, but let's just see if we can give this engagement a try. So here's what you need to do, okay? Make a couple overlords. Whenever you start making army, make a massive amount of roaches and pull the queens that you have like closer to your rest of your army, okay? So they're not yep. like walking around by themselves. Okay. Let's go. Okay, make a massive amount of stuff. There you go. You can get more ravagers. That's fine. And yeah, you can you can pull any existing ones forward as well if you wanna. Ah! Keep up the production. Keep up the production. We still, we still got a lot of larva. Let's go. Yeah, I think if we wouldn't have been able, if, if we didn't have to remake those seventeen workers, yeah. it would probably have been a little easier. All right, yep. let's just let's just go again. Let's just yep. go again. We should be fine. I actually have a lot of people that requested coaching as well. Like I, uh, I could probably go ahead and. Uh, do coaching every single stream for like the next month and a half but <laughs> oh gosh i i stopped doing individual coaching sessions mm -hmm. um for the most part because i had a lot of requests for it and it's like it's a lot more fun when i get to help out people continuously you know like i've helped you out a couple right. times in the past that at the very least i know you yeah it's different if it's i was doing a lot of like single coaching sessions and i mean it's um it's a lot more enjoyable when you can help someone out over time you know because i know you've been you, you've gone up an entire league in like the last two months or so, that's pretty good. Dude, I think I, I think I was silver when I got my first coaching session. Could be, man. It's been a while. It's been a little while. It's been like a year. Yeah, it probably has been close to a year since I had my first one. In the end, uh, in the end, though, if you truly want to improve in StarCraft, guys, here's what you really need to do. Okay, you play the game. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people want to take the shortcut, and I, did, I definitely can help you out improve faster. But really, the basis is all just in simply playing the game. But I've been getting coaching myself as well, man. I actually want to do some more coaching in the, uh, in the future. I actually I really liked that neuro coaching video that you guys did a while back. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I could get some coaching with him again. As well in the future, I think um, I think it was very helpful as well. Yeah, like, I like Nero. Little things, little things really 
Like, for example, right? I did a coaching session with Neuro a while ago, and you're like, you may be wondering, like, why why would I get a coaching session? Well, there's always gonna be better people. Like, I'm sure I'm sure Kisis could coach me in many ways, right? I, I'm sure Kisis could point out, like, well, hey, if you if you had an overlord in that position right then and there, you would probably be able to like not die to the three wrecks and brass, right? And little things like that could easily help me out from any skill level. But anyway, like Neuro helped me out a lot with my fourth base timing mm -hmm. and my hive timing as well. And and those things, I mean. I could have picked them up by myself, but it definitely was a shortcut in that regard. Well, and sometimes it's just something that you miss because you do it every game, and so you're not used to it. Oh, yep. crap. I don't have my army hotkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're using F6. There you were like, crap, move, move, move. <laughs> yep. Okay. Good pull back there. If you want to improve, then watch Loco on YouTube. <laughs> Crap, man. I need to, like, remove my own videos. Get more <laughs> coaching, then. <laughs> okay. Overlord. Oh, you already got one going. Good. Okay. Make a big run of drones. And then you can consider going for a third base as well. Okay. So we know he's got a natural, so that makes uh, the decision going for a third pretty safe. And just escort it, yep. Very good. Oh look, a diamond level Terran. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... That fast. <laughs> <laughs> Little things like that are typically like um, like the difference between between Platinum and, and Diamond League. Like leaving the, yeah. the Reaper idle still, like not paying close attention to it, but moving it over to the third instead just to, you know, keep tabs on you. It's really typical. Right. Anyway, let's get the next set of Queens. And then we can uh, start getting the Roach Warren and the Evos. Okay, saturate the gases. There we go, very good. So remember, five minutes for crawlers. And just get him the same way I should do against Protoss. No, oh, a little early, that works. Okay. Now when the Roach Warren finishes, you want to make that big round of workers. Or, uh, uh, yeah, you get what I know. You get yep. what I mean. Cool. There we go. Okay, so make sure to get a Spore in that base too. And two Overlords too. Or three. And make sure you hold key those Roaches you just made, right? Because they're not going to be part of this army. Very good. Good thinking. This time around, he's gonna be in the third, although. <laughs> Alright. We can use the queens here, though. Just fine. So, look, this is what I'm talking about. The double matter fact play. Right. Okay, so you got the roaches in the main, ready to go, right? Very good. And right now, honestly, you can you can start droning again. You can, if you have to, you can start droning again, getting the lair and everything. Now, that's probably scary. But just try and keep that in mind, okay? That was great defense. Very solid defense. Now, probably split off a couple of your units towards the main base, because there's still a matter fact flying about. But uh, consider going for a lair as well. Yeah, there's still a sport crawler over there. Or uh, what am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's something blue on your side of the. Oh, there we go. It's blue on my screen. 
maybe red or green or whatever. Okay, so cool. Let's get the upgrades going. Uh, keep up the droning, keep up the droning. So ideally we're looking for three base saturation here. Oh, he's actually moving across the map right now. I think we should probably be okay though. Let's go ahead and make as many units as you can right now. He's still trying to bait you out. Uh, he's baiting you, man, with the meta back in the main. Let's go ahead and push though. You got you got plenty of roaches. You got plenty of roaches. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's still going to town in your main base as well. That's mostly the difference right here between the leagues, though. Right. As far as execution goes, though, I think this is like a gazillion times better than the ones that we tried so much, so far. Way better. Yeah, that was definitely way better than I have had before. So. Yeah, I can I can imagine though that because like you, you're doing it really nicely, the execution, and then you know your opponent is is just simply uh, playing a little stronger. To be fair though, supply wise, you're actually still pretty much even. So here's what you can do: you can start trying to make a massive amount of army here. And just try, or, or you can drone up. Like, it's really the two options that you have. You could either try and go all in, or you can go for uh, for uh, for a macro from behind if you want to. It's up to you. Just try and make the decision. You can't really play a matter of, like, you right. can't really do a mix of the two. I'm supply blocked either way. All right, so here's what we can do, okay? So, I would probably recommend going for an all in at this point, just because we're kind of in a scary position. Right. So... What you probably want to go ahead and do is get the Roach Speed upgrade and push out right when that one finishes, okay? And in the meantime, just make a massive amount of Roaches and Ravagers. Okay. Try and get as many as you can. And just try yeah. and focus on that, okay? Because okay? the mix of the two isn't going to work. Right. Game resumed. Now, start thinking about where you want to engage. Do you want to go straight to the middle? A little risky. You may want to consider knocking down the rocks behind this base as well. Uh, but just keep on making army as much as you can and add on a lot of revenue too. They're super good. Very good. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Looks like we found some Widow Mines. All good. All good. Let's go ahead and take them out with, uh, with an Overseer or whatever. Oh, well. Looks like we found him. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna have to morph in a bunch of um, a bunch of Ravager here too. Oh, he just killed two Overlords there. He's not going easy on you either, man. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, four stim, very nice. Just back off. Yep, cool. All right, keep on making stuff. And now that Roach Speed is done, I think you may want to consider moving across. Oh, well. If he's going to attack you, you can always wait for plus two. Okay. So don't move everything. Just box part of it. I said that to the natural. That's the way. Right there. That's good. That's good. Oh, no. I clicked on something. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. This is perfect. Considering you want to go all in, this is not that big of a deal. Just move over the drones towards the third. And keep making stuff. We'll push out when 2-2 two -two finishes. Okay. Let's keep making army here. Let's keep making army. This may look pretty shitty because you ended up losing that base. But everything considered, I think you're not in that terrible of a position. Just keep an eye out on when your uh, units are going to finish up. Or when your uh, upgrades are going to finish up. And we're going to attack right when that happens, okay? Okay. You may want to saturate one of the gases. Or two of the gases. And I think, yeah, you want to consider here. starting to move across the map. Yep, definitely. I would start moving if I were you. Oh, once again, oh. he's coming at your third. Well, that base, we can't lose. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Okay. Just just go. Just go. Just just push. The high cluster is under attack. Complete. The relentless Terran Stallman. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is like you, you're gonna be able to probably deal with his army here. He's he's investing a lot of resources and constantly trying to get the engagement going, right? But uh, we lost a little too much during you know throughout this match, right? Anyway, just remember last time around we were facing gold level players and you were struggling against those, <laughs> and now you'd right. roll over them as well. <laughs> it's just typical, like. It's not so much that you don't have the macro to support it. I think most of it comes down to it being a control type of issue. Yeah. Because, um, like, you're not really flooding. When, like, when you don't want to be flooding resources, you just somehow some way spend all of it in, in, a, in like, you know, one <laughs> one round of larva. Like, seriously, though, you can do the same thing with, with control. You can totally right. do the same thing with control. And considering you don't have the old army hotkey right here as well, like, it's not really holding back your macro either. It's just going to make it more complicated. Well... I mean, sadly, there's this feature for Terran that they can lift buildings, so... Yeah. Usually, <laughs> usually that's gonna make it uh, pretty rough to win a base race. But uh, that was a good match, though. Actually, this turned it, out to be really similar. It felt better, <laughs> so... That's Dude, the you would thing. probably win the game if you were the race where you could fly the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got, got no way of killing that. I mean... You got one gas geyser though, I'm afraid that, that <laughs> I'm afraid that's gonna be a little tough. Yeah! Hero Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you got a spore? Wait, where? You got one spore? Did that count for base races? Well, I, I guess they do. Get him, spore! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> He totally checked his stream. Totally checked the stream because he's confidently walking towards your newly acquired base. <laughs> GG. Within the 15 second delay, it was like, well, let's shove it right over there. He'll tech move right on where the base would be. <laughs> oh, that wasn't bad. My APM's up in that game. Dude, the APM was uh, was released. Like, the control was, was much better, too. It felt Honestly, way better, like, so... Yeah. I think build order wise and like strategy wise it was way better. Get yeah. like uh, one of the sticky notes, <laughs> put them on the bottom of your monitor, make overlords, make drones, hit queen injects. <laughs> you would pay money for a I local voice pack? Nice. Queen injects at the end of the game. Uh, it depends on like how late we are into the game. If you've like got an ultra tier or whatever. I oftentimes just pull the queens because I got like six hatcheries at that point anyway. It's, it's, it's it. enough. Like, queen injects, like, the longer the game goes on, become less important. Once you get to like the late game, usually it's fine to uh, to skip on them. At least. Well, if you have, absolutely have to, you're not going to be able to spend it all too much. Got it. You went for the 13 overlord. Yeah. Your fangirl Rashichiru is very excited about it. <laughs> I was actually talking to him about that yesterday or the day before when we were playing some games together, so... Nice. Dude, you guys play games when I'm asleep, man. That's not yeah. fair. <laughs> I totally join in, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't usually get off work for like three more hours from now, so... Yeah, that's 1am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really quite that kind of nerd where I'm, you know. There's a lot of live streamers that do that, that like live in Europe but live in American time zone. It's right. I don't know how I don't people think do that. I, I can't do it, man. I worked at every single one of them for... that I know. Like every every single one of them that that I know that does that also isn't happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Because I I remember I remember talking to Chu, uh, who uh, who's a hero of the storm streamer, mm -hmm. and he quite literally goes to bed at nine a.m. and he wakes up when it's getting dark outside. Like he lives the complete opposite lifestyle, <laughs> and he doesn't really see a whole lot of daylight in general. And he loves that. It's like his way of being productive, right? And if that works for you, great. But I I you know I'm I'm not really one that goes outside a whole lot, but I do need a little bit of daylight right. <laughs> at least. <laughs> I worked a graveyard shift for a while, and that's not easy stuff to do. It's called a graveyard shift in English? Third shift, graveyard. Nice. Yeah. I never heard of that. That's sick. 
So wait, that's like, that's like midnight to eight or something. I was working uh, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's. I mean, if you get extra, oh, he's in the main. He's oh. in the main. If you get extra pay for it, it's totally, it's totally cool. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's not the, uh, <laughs> if I get to choose when I work, it's, uh, it's all good. Daylight yeah, is for suckers. That's nice. Yeah, some people. Some people prefer. Uh, he must as be as tender as you are. Totally, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got the excuse of living in Europe. It's fine, man. I'm in the northern part of Europe, or like central northern part. <laughs> we don't really get a whole lot of sun. Okay. Just use the queen to bully him away. It's called a graveyard shift because you die when you do it too much. Well, maybe. That's why Kisses gave up, man. He officially died, and then he was like, yep. oh, fuck. <laughs> gotta get, you know, gotta get started <laughs> doing something else. <laughs> He's now playing a Forsaken in WoW. <laughs> All of his characters are moved over to Undead. Because <laughs> of the extra pay, you could actually afford doing that. <laughs> it's like 15 bucks a character. <laughs> All right, let's get the third base started. And the extra set of queens. Guys, my skin, my, my brightness of my skin, or like my, my, my... How do you call that? I don't know, dude. But that's totally, that's totally a beauty standard somewhere. You know that, right? Somewhere, man. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna do some uh, some modeling for some countries at some point. It'll be it will be amazing. Not looking for pill skin. There you go, solid droning. Very nice. Dude, total, total nerd mark. Yeah, total nerd points start right there. I have the nerd mark as well. You know, you can see if someone is a PC gamer by having that little red spot right there on their wrist. Or like on a little bone right there on the wrist connected to the hand. Oh, Just rubbing against the mouse pad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have banned all of my queens. There we go. Gotta get plus one, plus one, plus one layer. What's Loco skincare routine? Dude, we can talk about this. <laughs> Twitch chat things. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone now, guys, are not supposed to know about moisturizers and those kind of things, man. We have no idea what that is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we definitely do want to make that round of, uh, round of roaches when the roach one finishes. May have to remake a third base I elsewhere. Made... I uh, probably just want to retake the third uh, at the northern side instead. It's totally fine. Or, well, I'll retake it over there as well. That's fine. Uh, except I just made drums right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, was that, was a, that was a minor mistake there. Minor yeah, mistake. I made drones instead of units. Yep, yep. That's okay. That's my fault as well. I was blabbering. <laughs> Yeah, they, um, that that round of roaches that we I, make when the roach one finishes is important. Yeah, if I lose a game to uh, to making drones too much, I don't really care about it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good good way to live. Hold on, we can we can resume from replay from there. Cool. We need that like big round of roaches yep. when uh, when we get. The, when we I get guess that's probably been the biggest thing that I've been missing is I keep is I do exactly what I just did. I was just kind uh -huh. of on autopilot I was, instead of instead of yeah. roaches right there so that's something that's, that's that honestly that, that's that's honestly the reason why i would say like focus practice like mm -hmm. yeah definitely like focus on like like set a goal for a game and like execute that you know don't worry about the win or the loss and i think unranked is perfect for that but like for example focus really heavily on the build order and try and like right. really focus on on the hotkeys and the camera hotkeys and all those things okay that that really helps out a lot and don't have someone blabbering your ear about Skincare and <laughs> 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 other, other weird shit like that. 
<laughs> I already love Twilight and Fifty Shades of Grey. I haven't read Fifty Shades of Grey, but I have read Twilight, yeah. I'll, I'll go that far. I'm in the middle of Game of Thrones right now, actually. Nice. The, the books. That's been good so far. Nice. Which one are you at? I'm like a third of the way through the second one. Oh, there you go. Fair enough. Yeah, we're still waiting for the next. Have you seen the series or? Yeah, I've been watching the TV series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, uh, you kind of know what happens, but you don't really understand what happens. Because <laughs> a lot like, of like political stuff and it's like, well, uh huh. And the Jamie books Lannister are... is going somewhere. <laughs> and the books are so detailed, it's crazy. Uh huh. So good. It's so good. Spoiler, everyone dies. Well, hey, yes. you've seen the series by now. I mean, <laughs> we, we don't want people to die, man. You know there's only going to be 15 more episodes the next season and, and the one after that. It's like eight seasons in the next one and a seven in the last one. That's yeah. it, man. Then it's done. Uh, it's because he doesn't know. have the last book written. <laughs> Dude, we there... no, like the last season has already been completely not written. Yeah. The last book is already... Which is crazy. Like, it's not out. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, um, so this is right before we finish up the uh, the third or the roach one. Can we? Can we see which one? Here? So notice, by the way, like little things you can notice on the on the supply count already. This is just like typical mm -hmm. couple of divisions higher kind of things. He's just a couple supply ahead. It's just you know, it's just the the, the nature of the beast, I suppose. Right. Anyway, let's go. Alright, Roach 1's done. Let's get an Overlord or two. And we can throw up a lair. And plus one, plus one. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple more Roaches than this once the Roach 1 finishes. There you go. I would say about 8 to 10 Roaches or so is good. Okay, so make sure to move the queens over there. No. Oh. oh man, I should have resumed right after this, <laughs> those those overlords. Cause That's uh, okay. just just attack, just attack with the roaches. There we go. And target fire down with the queens on the metafex. There you go. That's it. And just back up, back up. No, no reason to move off creep. Cool. Very good. All right. So now you've defended that. That's where you start droning again. You go lair, evos, all the upgrades, everything you want. But that's basically once you like shut down a push like that. So he's going for the main base, by the way. He's not done yet. But we got everything we need to defend against it. So be prepared to like move around, okay? Okay. Now he's definitely gonna keep on moving about here. Ideally, you leave like one part. So either the roaches uh, and the links in the uh, in the third base, or in the queens in the main, or the other way around. Okay. So he's totally gonna fly over your queens if he's going to the third base right now. Oh well, he's not going to. Oh, there he is. Very good. You can target fire down a Metafax first. Yep, very good. Alright, and keep the drawing up. Keep the drawing up right here. Beautiful. Okay, so he's still gonna be in the third base as well. All good. Or in a natural rudder. That's good defense. That's the way to do it right there. Okay, so like, try not obsess too much over the little, little details. That's much better than the ones we've seen before. Now, granted, we kind of knew what was coming, but still, like, this shouldn't be a surprise. This is basically the exact thing they do every time. Right. That's good defend. It's the thing that I struggle against most, to be honest. So. Yeah, I can't imagine. No. All right, let's get the macro hatch going and get all the other stuff going. So we'll just start making, uh, defaulting in a macro hatch free too. I think it's worth it. All right. And before we start making army, let's make sure we get that full base uh, saturation. Yep. Okay, so notice on the minimap. Pay attention. If you see that, just start making army again. Gonna need a couple of overlords. And definitely bring the queens. Yep. You can try and force a stim if you wanna. Looks like uh, there's also Widow Mines, or it sounded like it at the very least. Okay. 
Very good. Solid. Okay, be careful with the queens. Be careful with the queens. They're very flimsy. Oh no! Oops. Queens come back! <laughs> <laughs> they're fragile, man. They're like, they're like girls. Yeah, they you are. can't just send them forward like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a rookie mistake, man. Oh well, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna have to go to the natural. Pull the drones if we can. Nice target firing there. Just ran the corrosive biles. This is bile terrain right here. Oof. Nice. Okay. Okay, so now when you move over over here, yep, very good. Use part of that army exactly. That's the way to do it. Because you totally know he's gonna come back if he can. Very good. Well, I mean, besides losing the base, I guess. Honestly, though, no, compared to like an hour and a half ago, this is way better. Okay. So once again, right? Let's try and see if we can set up a win condition. So our win condition right now is probably going to be an all-in. Exactly. So we got plus two attack coming in. You may want to wait for that one to finish up, and then we'll get started, okay? All right. So get a couple of overlords so we can start making uh, and use the, use the larva at the third base as well. There's a couple over there, yeah. Oh, you got those selected, nice. Um, and push out right when two two finishes. I think that's gonna be the best win condition. Make sure to also bring an overseer. Debate, man. <laughs> Not enough APM. I think you're fine. Okay. Keep producing stuff. There we go. Very good. We can make a massive round of... Uh... Very good. You know what? I would just start moving across the map right now. Just start making a massive round of stuff. He's actually moving right now yourself. That's perfect. You can engage on creep. Just make a round of uh, round of overseer. Well, maybe not move down the ramp. Yeah. Uh, make a round of, uh, of ravagers as well. And, uh, I mean, yeah, start moving across. I think you're good. Now, this is obviously going to be an all-in right now, right? Yeah. But I think our best bet right now is just grab everything together. So now you can click the all-army hotkey, okay? Now it's fine. <laughs> and now let's get started. So you may want to move through the center, depending on how fast you want to be there. That works as well. Okay. Okay. Just try and chase him down and then attack. Yeah, exactly. Try and see if you can force a lift off. Is he gonna go for the natural? I doubt it. Just go for his base. So, any reinforcing units, you can rally those to watch your other bases. So notice on the minimap, there's a whole lot of stuff going through your base. If you use the reinforcements to go over there, I think you'd be okay. That's one of the nice things about the... Well, I'm base supply back. Sure. <laughs> uh, oh, you're, you're full. You're maxed. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, we got a base race again? Are you kidding me? Alright, well if you can run the drones away, I think you could actually win this one. New subscriber detected. Yo, KV, thanks for the sub. Okay, just send those to your army. Yeah, okay. I would probably make I will probably make his fourth base instead. There you go. I would probably make his fourth base if if I'm you. If I would be you. Alright, let's go for the main. Cut off his production. These games are weird, man. <laughs> Dude, this is like most of my ZVT. Dude, this is this is so much better though than like what we saw in our like in the replays, this is so much better than that. Yeah. It feels weird. Let's better, move up the so. ramp though. Let, let, let's move up the ramp, because they're hugging, man. They wanna just get embraces and all that. Okay. 
Okay. I'm a terror and I lift my buildings! <laughs> Catch me if you can! Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to drone. <laughs> I, uh, that's gonna be a rough one. Well, this is your specialty, right? Your, your specialty is playing weird games. <laughs> Oh man, he magically knows exactly where your shit is positioned once more, man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, now he knows everything. You're gonna have to hold on to that fourth. Just just hold on to it with your life. His fourth, I would say. Oh! You're gonna have to run. Because that, that overseer, or that mothership, or what is it called? Command center is right there as well. I'll have you know, since he seems to have additional information too, that that is his final, uh, his final building. Yeah, don't engage off creep. He's stemming like mad, dude. Yeah, let him stem. Let him take his own army if he needs to. Don't take your own army, though. <laughs> That's his task. So, you got mining. <laughs> He's gonna land that expansion. <laughs> Guess what? You're desperately trying to make drones? He lands one mule. <laughs> Surprise! Well, can you morph into Ravages without a Roach Warren? No. I should probably know these kind of things. Yeah, Metafects are gonna win this. I mean, I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but... So many metamax. Yeah. Well. Oh, get him! Get him! Oh, oh, that friendly fire hurt. I mean, he's got he's got ten metavex for like four units. There we go. That's perfect, Biles. I think I may have misjudged this. Dude, pull the drones. Pull the drones. This is all you need to kill. If you kill this magically... Oh man, I think if you would have pulled the drones, you'd be fine. Alright, attack move, attack move. No, I meant like pull the drones into the battle is what I meant. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> 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 anyway, that game got a little bit besides the point that we wanted to practice, but I think it was a good one anyway. <laughs> no, but it, it felt good at the beginning, so. I think it was a really solid, well-played game, to be fair. A um, couple of things that, that could go better, but other than that, it's... Yeah, that was legit. Yeah, I need to watch my supply a little bit closer. <laughs> I get yeah, I think you need to get it. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't actually get supply block, you just don't make Overlord before making army. You make army first, and then like you're adding on a couple overlords if it happens to be right. good. Uh, probably want to consider making overlords before making uh, before making it. Okay. I'm gonna be heading off. Uh, it's uh, pretty late over here. Cool, man. Thank you for the help. No worries. No worries at all. As always, just let me know when you run into something, okay? Because yeah, course, I will. Uh, can always help out. Cool, man. All Thank right. you. No worries. I'll, I'll go ahead and send you these notes as well. Excellent. Uh, same email address as last time. Yeah. Cool. All right, idiot. Talk to you soon. Thanks, man. See Take ya. Care. All right. Bye.